Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's easy. We're not here. She looks to the lady. Stay out of this. Come on, Susie. Let's go. The lady's right, fella. This is none of your business. I say you're right about that most of the time, but not when I see you picking on this lady. She's my wife. I don't see that as a license to rough her up. Now, why don't you just get out of here and leave her alone? Don't hassle me. I don't want to. But if you touch her, you'll wish you hadn't. Susie, don't do this. You'll regret it. You know that. You all right, miss? Yes, I'm all right. I'm just a little embarrassed. Don't worry about it. Uh, thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. No, no problem. Uh, do you mind if I ask you a question? No. Are you really married to that guy? Well, not for long. As soon as I can get to the Dominican Republic, I'm getting a divorce. That explains why he was so hot. I get he's part of it. Hey, Repeat my announcement. Due to snow accumulation on runways, all remaining flights for today have been canceled. We apologize for any inconvenience. That's just terrific. That happens a lot at this airport, even when you can get through on the road. Where are you flying to? Nowhere. I'm here because of the snow. Are you up here? I'm picking up a shipment that they were going to fly out to Chicago, but I'm going to drive it up in my rig instead. Oh, you can get through? Mm, it'll take me nine hours instead of three, but I'll get through. Excuse me. But would you watch my things for just a minute? I want to check and see if there's any way I can get to the Dominican Republic. Sure, no problem. I'll be right back. probably open tomorrow, but the closest place where the weather isn't bad is Chicago. Yeah. Take more than this to shut down O'Hare. And the next bus doesn't leave for Chicago for three hours. Bad night to be traveling. Well, you don't seem to mind it. Extra hours, extra pay. What is it you're delivering that's so important? I don't know. I just drive the truck. The company loads and unloads. You know, I really am embarrassed that you had to stand up in the middle of this place and rescue me from my husband. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I, I bet that you think we have scenes like that all the time. No, I don't. We don't. We really don't. And we'll never have a scene again. I just wanted you to know that this sort of thing doesn't happen with me a lot. I believe you. I'm glad. You see, I, I try to avoid things like this, but I've really gotten myself into a mess. You don't want to hear about that. <laughs> I, there really is a reason why I'm babbling like this. I thought there might be. The reason is I, uh, I wanted to ask you something, but I want you to understand what kind of person I am before I ask you. See, I don't go around asking strangers for help. Right. I didn't even know your name. Cagney Farrell. Oh, I'm Susie Carter. <laughs> well, not for much longer. As soon as I get a divorce, I'm changing it back to Wyatt. <laughs> nice to meet you, Susie. Nice to meet you. Cagney? Right. Uh, what I wanted to ask you... Cagney. That's a very interesting name. Is it after James Cagney? Right. Is that what you wanted to ask me? No. All right, I'll, I'll stop fooling around and... and just come right out and ask you. Um, I just want you to understand that I don't normally operate this way. I'm beginning to get more confused by the minute. So am I. <laughs> All right. You have to get to Chicago soon. And I need to get to Chicago desperately. So would you mind if I sort of hitched a ride with you. I'd pay you for your trouble and I wouldn't be any problem and I promise that I wouldn't babble like this on the way. You want to ride with me in my rig to Chicago? Is that a bad idea? 
actually the company doesn't look too kindly on taking passengers. I, I wouldn't ask you unless I was absolutely desperate. Hey. And you seem like a very nice person. And I really don't go around all the time asking strangers in coffee shops for rides. Well, it wouldn't do that much harm. Then you'll take me? Yeah. Well, we'd better get a move on right now. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> I, I appreciate this more than you will ever know. Well, if you can't help people out once in a while, what's the point? Right? Right. room in here than I thought. After three days on the road, it seems pretty small. Oh, I can't imagine. Do you sleep in here when you drive long trips? Mm, that's what we use the ledge for. Please, call me, please. 